hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so yesterday i created this video saying the oneplus released the new oxonas 12c05 for the oneplus not 2 but actually i didn't receive the ota that time in that video i covered some change lock of new update downgrade and the clarification of all the blunders oneplus did till the date for the all the updates using the post given by the oneplus community but yesterday on the 23rd june when i checked the ota I got new OTA of 4.92 GB without any tag, is it Oxonus 12 C05 or not. So today in this video we'll see what is in this update, its installation change lock with the full live downgrade process to the Oxonus 11. Finally at the end I shown the major issue of this update, so watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. A new adventure. So people who are already on the Oxonos beta versions will get this OT update notification of 359 MB for the C05 with the minor change log. As I'm on the Oxonos 11 820, I checked the OTA and I got the update size of 4.92 GB without any tag with the full change log, same as old Oxonos beta 1 update. You can check that video from the iCard. So it's confirmed that this is the Oxonus 12, so I downloaded the update and restarted the phone to flash the new update. After flashing got completed, we booted with the new stable Oxonus 12. In the notification panel, we get the finishing system update notification. Once it gets completed, we get the another notification to charge the phone at least for the 2 to 3 hours in the screen of mode, so system will get fully optimized. Remember this update will not wipe any of your data, all the apps and the data will be intact as it is before the update. Let's jump to the about device, so here we can see we are now upgraded to the stable Oxonos 12.1 C05 build. Now there is no tag here saying it's a beta update. So finally oneplus cleared this doubt. If you tap on the android version, it's the Oxonos 12 with the beautiful material you clock star egg. But security patch is of Hitman 2022. Soon they may be released the new update with the latest security patch. In the version tab, you can see it's the Oxono C05 version with the kernel version of 4.14.186 plus. When I went to the file manager, surprisingly, I got the new update zip file of 4.89 GB. So I will upload this update file to the Google Drive and will give you the link tomorrow. So anyone who didn't got the update can manually update their devices via stock recovery. So this Oxonus 12 has all the new features like the new shelf, new special features like Scout, new work life balance, new canvas AOD, gallery, hyperboost, etc. All these features I had already discussed in the details so you can check that from the iCard video. So the main part comes here how to downgrade if you don't like the update. Remember this will wipe all the data so keep the backup. Go to the about device, there go to the version and tap 8 times on your build number. And your developer option will be get enabled. Confirm it by going into the system. Here you will find the new developers tab now. Now download the package given in the video description and rename it as shown on the screen of the video and place it in the root of the storage. Now go to the about device, there tap the three dot menu from the top right corner and select the local install and locate your downloaded file. System will verify the update and you will see this is the Oxon S11 A20. So if you downgrade, you will be on the A20 version. Now just tap install and phone reboots to the stock recovery and flashes the update. Here I have to do the full review so I will not tap install to downgrade. So let's discuss the major issue, there are no special visible bugs in the ROM, it's definitely daily drivable build. But if you are an advanced user who wants routing, flashing custom mods, ROMs, then stay away from this update. Because like old builds this update also didn't have the fastboot mode. It has the stock recovery without any install from the storage option so you can't flash any update manually here. And if you try to boot to the bootloader mode using the ADB commands or using the button combo, phone will boot with a serial mismatch error. I thought oneplus will bring back the fastboot mode for the stable update still they didn't solve this issue. Hope we will get the fastboot mode back with the new update, finger crossed. This is all about the new update, if you think I help you, please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.